Um, okay, now we're going to talk about the sort function. And it's a little bit different than what we've done before, uh, although it's essentially the same. Let's see, we're going to sort function. And uh, let's go ahead and we're going to echo. First of all, let's go ahead and we're going to echo, not mixed, let's do um, strings. Okay, and uh, first thing I want to show you is this is not really how you're going to write it, but I just want to show it to you because I know that somebody's going to make this mistake. They're going to say, oh, okay, we can echo the minimum value of strings. Well, or uh, excuse me, echo the sort value, sorry, of strings. Well, the sort value of strings is basically going to return a boolean. It's going to say, hey, did it sort it or did it not sort it? Well, you're, you're telling it right here, sort strings. So the answer is going to be true. Yes, it did sort it, but it's not necessarily going to show you the sort uh, arrangement on the screen. For that, you'd have to do the print R function, or you would have to some uh, display it in some other way. But let's just show you what this is going to look like in case somebody is inclined to make this mistake. Okay, so right now we're going to say echo sort strings. We're going to save it, go up to Firefox, and we're going to hit return and you see that it returns the value of 1, but really it's just returning a true value, a boolean value, um, not a uh, boolean, but <laughs> a boolean value of 1. Okay, so let's do it the way it's supposed to be done, and instead, let's go back here, and we're going to do something different. We're going to get rid of echo, we're just going to simply sort the strings, and then we're going to um, do print underscore r on the strings array. Okay, so let's just go ahead and save that and we'll do a refresh. And you see here it went ahead and it sorted it for us. Um, and notice the uh, Notice the arrangement that it takes. Remember we talked about which one's going to be the highest and which one's going to be the lowest when we were talking about max and min. Um, but here it actually sorts it out and you can see for yourself what order PHP is going to put these things in. All right, and So that'll help you figure out in a heartbeat um, you know, what the text value is going to be numerically versus the, uh, the scientific notation and so forth. All right, this is kind of hard to read though, so let's go back to Dreamweaver and let's put those pre-tags around it. Okay, actually let's, yeah, let's just do this. Copy, paste, and then we're just going to change this from break to pre and down here. We're just going to change this to end pre. Okay, save this and let's look at that again. And that's better. It's easier to read. Okay, so this sorted from lowest to highest. So it starts with zero, bird, cat. <clears throat> right, let's just back this up. It goes zero, B, C, D, F. And then it goes to a positive value, which in this case would be uh, the scientific no notation of uh, 13 zero, uh, zeros and a 1 behind a decimal. Okay, So this is like super fractional, but it still has a higher value in the ranking than uh, B, C, D, or F. Okay, um, okay now that that's sort of... Uh, taken care of. Let's talk about another issue with the sort function, and that is how it deals with uh, multidimensional arrays. And I, you can see I've typed multidimensional up here to define, <coughs> excuse me, in a comment to define this, right? So um, even though the sort function will reassign the keys and, and it'll sort, but it'll reassign the keys for the values in this array, it will not um, dig down into its nested arrays to organize them. And that can be something that's, uh, you know, kind of an important issue if you make a, a bad assumption that that it's going to do that, if it, you know, that it's going to uh, go down through the iterations of nested arrays and, and perform the same function, then you're going to find yourself sort of in a quandary whenever your data doesn't end up the right way. So um, the other thing uh, that I sort of 
touched on that I want to reiterate again is um, the fact that it does actually reassign the keys. Now not only is it going to put it in a certain order but it's going to change the pairing between the um, the key assignment to its paired value. Um, and we will talk about that more a little bit later um, and whenever we discuss it we're going to also discuss the um, the a sort uh, function as well. Okay so anyway um, so what we've got here in in this array is we have um, the very first uh, value is 0 then we have John then we have negative uh, 6.5 we have Andy uh, then we have the array that I was referring to okay so that's actually that entire array is actually a value um, and then we have the commented out null and there's a 6 okay as we can see here alright so um, and we had commented null out we'll just what the heck just leave it there um, alright so we're gonna go ahead now and uh, go down to where we've got our sort function and we're gonna give that a shot and uh, sort out the mixed go ahead and save this and go to Firefox refresh and here's what we've got we've got this array right here um, so what it's doing in whenever it does a sort is it goes from the lowest value to the highest value and so it's determining that negative 65 is the lowest 0 a j the integer 6 and then it's putting this array at the uh, end and what I want to want you to pay attention to here is that um, well it's hard to tell here but uh, one of the things that you could uh, notice is that it's not sorting these values in fact let's uh, real quickly let's go back over to Dreamweaver and let's change the values of that array and let's uh, change them to be a string let's do mick and we'll do um, apple what the heck okay so we've got two strings inside of this array we've got mick and we have apple okay and if we go uh, ahead and save that let's go back to Firefox and we'll refresh it and you see that in fact we're not going from the lowest to the highest it didn't sort the A and the M properly right so that's just a useful thing to know that it's only going to assort the key excuse me it's only going to sort the keys um, or excuse me the uh, values um, at the top level of the array now something else to notice that's really um, important is that it also reassigned the actual keys if you just use the normal sort it literally will change the uh, the order of the ray around as opposed to just doing it temporarily just so you can print something right like let's say that you just let's say you've got a list of users in a database or something and they all have uh, uh, primary keys that are based on their social security numbers and a primary key by the way in a database is a unique thing no other record can have that exact same key it has to be unique sort of like your social security number there can't be two of the same okay so you wouldn't really want to reassign people's social, social security numbers whenever you did um, a sort so there's another thing that you can do let's go back to Dreamweaver and it's called a sort so let's uh, go back down here and instead of uh, our normal sort let's type a sort for the function actually let's just do this let's go ahead and we're gonna copy some breaks we're gonna paste it after here and we're gonna type in echo oops let's go here type in echo this is a oops sort function okay and then we'll do a line break inside of here we'll end the string like this okay and then we're gonna take all of this we're gonna copy it let's take the next line too we're gonna copy it and we're gonna do the same thing down here but we're gonna call this 
a sort function. And this is a sort. Okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to save. Oh, but, hmm, here's the trick. Once these have been reassigned, if we state the sort function first, it's going to go ahead and reassign all the keys, and then this one doesn't reassign them, so it's actually going to take the reassignment of these because we stated it first. So we actually want to list, we actually want to do the asort command first. So let's cut that out and we're actually going to paste it before we do the sort function. If you're not fully understanding it, you'll, you'll understand in a second. So I'm going to save this and let's go to Firefox and we're going to refresh it. Okay. Now that it's supposed to not be plural, but whatever. Okay, so this is the a sort function, and you can see what I'm saying. Like, it it ordered our um, it ordered our uh, values properly, right? But it didn't reassign the keys. Basically, it just did a sort of like a temporary reordering for us. Okay, um, it didn't reassign the actual keys to the values. Whereas up down here, the normal sort function changes the keys to the values. So you can see up here 3 was uh, Andy whereas down here 3 is John. And if you want to be really explicit and see, okay, well what are you talking about, Lee? I don't, I don't even know what the originals were to begin with. Okay, so let's go back to Dreamweaver. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a print R on the normal mixed array so that we can see how it was supposed to be whenever we assigned it, okay, and it should print it out in this order of assignment. And then we're going to sort it using a sort and it'll show you the uh, how it reassigns the order but how it keeps the original keys um, to their original values and then you'll see how the sort function reassigns the keys to values. Okay, so let's save this. We're going to go to Firefox refresh. Okay. This is the normal order of the array using printr. And you can see here that we have 0 being 0, which is still true here, even though it's in the second position of our listing. And you can see here that uh, John is 1. John is still 1 here. Okay. Negative, or excuse me, 2, the second key is negative uh, 6.5, which is true still here, okay, and so on and so forth. So basically the a sort allowed us to keep our um, our key value relationships for each item. A sort, however, reassigns them. Okay, that is actually quite an important thing to know whenever you're doing uh, stuff with the sort.